Hello friends, subscribers and new viewers of this channel and welcome to Machine Learning and AI Tutorials. In this video tutorial we are going to explain how to install and run locally large language models by using LM Studio. In particular, we will explain how to install LM Studio as well as how to manually download models and run them in LM Studio. But before we start with explanations, here are several important comments. First of all, on this YouTube channel you can find a large number of tutorials explaining how to install and run large language models by using either Olama or by using Python. These two approaches are useful for developers, that is, for people who want to develop a new application on the basis of locally hosted large language models. On the other hand, a large number of students as well as engineers would like to use large language model by using a very friendly graphics user interface without developing an application. For these people, LM Studio is the perfect solution. That is, LM Studio enables you to quickly download the model, host it on your computer, and to execute the model and interact with the model by using a friendly graphics user interface. In this video tutorial, we are going to learn how to install LM Studio and how to download different models. To download the LM Studio, simply go to this website over here and click on download button and click on download LM Studio for Windows and here it is. It is around 500 megabyte. So let's wait until the download process is completed. Then let's go to the download folder and let's double click on the downloaded file and let's go through the installation process. Here select this option, click on next. Then choose the default folder and click install. And that's it. After LM Studio is installed, you can simply start it by clicking here and searching for LM Studio. And this screen should appear. Now, first of all, here you can click to get your first large language model, or you can click here to skip onboarding. Let's click on here to skip onboarding and let's explain how to manually download and install different large language models. Over here you can see the basic chat window where you can interact with the model, however we will get back to this chat screen later on. There are several ways to download the models. You can use the automatic way of searching for the model or you can use the manual approach. I will cover both approaches. So if you click here on discover, then over here you can search for models on Hugging Face. Now, let's first start with the basic models such as Llama 3.1 or DeepSeek or something like that, something very basic. So let's click on DeepSeek or you can simply search for DeepSeek. Let's do that. Op DeepSeek. Here it is. And let's go with this model over here and let's analyze, let's see what is written over here. Okay, so first of all, you can see the architecture is Llama, you can see the number of parameters, you can see the stats, how many times the model is being downloaded, and you can see when the model is being updated. And the most important thing over here is this number, Q4, QM. Q4 is actually quantization, that is, an original deep scale, deep sea car one is around, I think, maybe even 700 gigabytes, However, this model, or 700 billion parameters to be more precise, however, this model is being compressed and it's being distilled on the basis of Llama 8b. Now, another important thing to keep in mind is the data file. Most of these models are actually coming from this repository and they're being quantized by using GGUF and they're provided by this repository Let's open in the web browser to see what it is. Here it is. And let's give a credit to this person. And over here you can see a lot of quantized models that can be executed locally by using LM Studio. Okay, so to download this model, simply click here and the model will be automatically downloaded. Over here you can see what's happening. 
and you can see what else is being downloaded, llama.cpp. Llama.cpp is a very nice framework and a tool written in C++ for executing models locally. It has a number of benefits and in addition to this, Llama also provide, Llama .cpp provides tools for discretizing models. If you want to learn more about GGUF file format, go to this GitHub repository and read. So let's see what it is. GGUF is a binary format that is designed for fast loading and saving of models and for ease of reading. Models are traditionally developed using PyTorch or another framework and then converted to GGUF for use in GGML. Okay, so this is very important to keep in mind. And after some time, this pop-up screen will show up, which means the download is completed and we can load the model. You can simply click here to load the model or let's do it manually. So click here, click here to close. Now go back to the chat window and over here, if you click here, you will see that there is a model. So let's click over here. Meanwhile, you can also watch your GPU consumption if you open a task manager and if you look at the performance, here you will see that the model is being loaded in the memory. And over here you can see, let's close this, you can see some additional information. So let's test the model, who are you? And let's press enter. You can see that now we're running DeepSeq R1. Good. To illustrate how to manually install the model, let's explain how to install Mistral Small 3.1, 24 billion parameter model, which is quantized. To do that, you need to go to this website or you can simply search for Mistral Small 3.1 Instruct GGUF and you will end up at this GitHub or better to say Hugging Face repository. Now, over here, you can select the model. In my case, I'm going to go with the model that can fit on my GPU, that is, for example, these two models. Or let's go with the smaller model with, just to illustrate how to run the model, since I don't want to spend a lot of time downloading the model. Okay, so let's go with, the, with this model. You can either click here to select the model and click on download, and what will happen now, a GGUF file will be downloaded. And this is the file format that LM Studio can understand and to repeat, this file format is mainly used by llama.cpp. So let's wait until this file is downloaded. Meanwhile, let me show you one very important thing. Go back to LM Studio, click on my models and over here you will see the models directory. You can see where this amazing software stores the models locally. So let's go here and let's click on open in file folder. You can see, let's actually find the absolute path. Let me show you where it is. Go to C, then click on users or find users, then click on your username. And over here, you should see this file .lmstudio. If you don't see the file .lmstudio, you need to click here and then click on hidden items. Let me see if it's, if it's not. Yeah, it's, you should be able to see since the file or the folder is not hidden. So click on here, LM Studio, and then over here you should find the models folder. Then go to LM Studio Community, and over here you can see this folder name. This is precisely the model we just downloaded, and you can see the GGOF file over here. And we are going to follow the same principle. That is, once we install, actually once we download the model, we are going to create a new folder over here with the model name, and then we are going to store the downloaded GGUF file in that folder. The file is downloaded and let's create the folder name. Usually we have to follow some convention. The convention should be that the folder name should match the name of this file. So let's now select this, do the right click, copy this thing, then go back to the folder, click, click on file or new and click over here folder and paste the name over here and that's it. Okay, next let's go to the downloads folder. Let's cut or copy this file, go here, double click here and paste the file over here. Good. Now magic happens. If you go now to LM Studio and again if you click over here on models you will see that the model is automatically recognized 
and this is because by default LM Studio read all reads all the models from this folder. Good. Let's go back to chat, click here, and over here you can select the model that you want to play with. Let's select our Mistral model and now let's see what's happening with memory. Now Mistral model is being loaded inside of our GPU memory and we will be able to use it. So let's start. Click here and let's ask who are you and let's see what will happen. And you can see that we are currently interacting with the Mistral model, which is really, really good. And then let's ask a question how to solve a quadratic equation and let's do something like this and let's see what happens and you see that the model executes relatively quickly and it has a nice latex render okay that's all for today i hope that you like this video if you like the videos i'm creating please press the like and subscribe buttons and see you in the next video tutorial